So we're gonna hop on 95 and go down south to Philly, and there's some there's a storm brewing down there. The Philadelphia 76ers manager, management is having an investigation on Twitter burner accounts allegedly belonging to general manager Brian Colangelo. These Twitter accounts were used to excoriate his fellow colleagues as well as players on his own team. Mike, do you think Colangelo should be fired? Should he resign? And if neither one of those things happen, how do you think Colangelo will survive the scandal? Well, couldn't happen at a worse time, right? The NBA draft just around the corner, and this, of course, probably one of the most important off-seasons for the Philadelphia 76ers, who have started to get some success rolling. Of course, a playoff uh, appearance just this past season. Actually, they had a playoff win against the Miami Heat. So things are starting to go in the right direction for the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, I think they've got to move on from this guy. I think that when you have LeBron James, who's going to be one of the most coveted free agents, and people have been talking for months now about the possibility of the Sixers making a push for LeBron, when he's going out and making comments about Brian Colangelo and, and you know, um, in a negative way, I think that that's something that people need to take notice of. At the moment, I mean, from what I've heard, the Philadelphia 76ers are putting on an investigation to see how all of this played out. And I've also heard that it wasn't necessarily Brian Colangelo. Maybe it was his wife who was pushing out some of these tweets. At the same time, this is going to fall hard on Brian Colangelo. Now, to answer the last question, Keisha, uh, as far as if the Sixers do wind up keeping Colangelo and, uh, you know, how is he going to work through this? He's got to be honest. He's got to be honest, most importantly, with the players, with the fans, and, of course, with the organization as a whole, you know, specifically with the rest of the front office. I mean, he's made a mistake here. Like I said, whether it was his wife, whether it was him, of course, he must have known about what was going on. I think, though, uh, the last thing I'll say, when it comes down to, down to it, I think they've got to make a, a, you know, a decision to move in a different direction. This is something where... You know, when you're talking about guys' health issues and their injuries and specific secrets that people that, that, that shouldn't necessarily be thrown out to the public, uh, you're playing with fire. So I think that if I were the Philadelphia 76ers, I know that the draft is around the corner. I know that they only have a short time to make a decision and then make the next decision to see who they will replace them with. But I think you have to do it. Yeah. I think the stench of this situation is too great to keep Colangelo on the staff. He's got to go, whether he is fired or he is forced to resign. You, as you mentioned, the draft is a couple weeks away and, you know, the rookies that are being going to be drafted, they don't have a say-so in where they're going. But you don't want to start off a relationship where there's already distrust. You have a general manager talking in a disparaging manner about his players and releasing medical information. That's a HIPAA violation. When you go to the doctors, you sign a, a paperwork that says that your medical information cannot be released and, and I think if it can be released it, there's certain guidelines that it has to that need to be met in order for your doctor to release any medical information but there's no way that in that paperwork gives the doctors or anybody permission to tweet your medical records uh, to the to public um, and then free agency you know, this is a really crucial time for the 76ers. They were one breath away from making it to the conference finals after being in the cellar for several seasons. And you have a chance to get a superstar name like a LeBron James. Paul George will be on the market. Kawhi Leonard will be on the market. You have free agents on their, own, on their team like J.J. Redick who was instrumental in their successes. What, what's going to become of him? Does he want to stay after this? You know, there's a lot of things, and this is just such a blow. I, you can, I don't think you can recover. And if it's the wife, well, you know what? She knew things that only he would know, so by he's still guilty by association. And so I, I think that it, he has once again exhibited poor decision-making skills because he's already under fire for some of the personnel decisions that he made. I mean, he allowed Danny Ainge to outfox him by grabbing, uh, Danny Ainge was able to get a draft pick for a, by letting the organization believe that he wanted Markel Fultz when he wanted Jason Tatum all along, sitting at the number three spot. He got him and he got a draft pick so that, um, 76ers can move up. So it's it's done. He's got to go. 